and I'm offering you 30 bucks each to sing behind me tonight.
first time doing something like this, but he taught me how to play my voice properly and it taught me the music experience because I love music and it brought me there and it took me there and took me out of my comfort zone and made me a new singer in the show. Hi, my name is Shaniqua Denise Troutman and I play Effie in Dream and this was such a magical experience for me. I loved it. I couldn't have asked for a better cast or oh, we didn't have a crew, but musicians, it was just so great. Oh, um, so great. And I really thank you, Gene Clement. I don't know what he is around here, but I really want to thank him for giving me the opportunity to play. Hi, my name is Jordan Smith. I play Pat Boone, and I really enjoyed the show. It was a great time being able to do that. <laughs> Cartellis Hollywood Wesley and the character I played was Curtis Stanley Jr. in Dream Girl. I enjoyed this experience so much because it gave me freedom to be exactly what I want to be, which is an actor and a singer, and to do it all in fun and in good spirits with other great and incredible actors and talents. There's nothing like being able to express yourself with other gifted and skillful people. Yeah, hello, my name is Eugene Fleming. The character I played is James Thunder Early. I directed this show together. Uh, I worked really hard on doing it. I had an idea on trying to bring something down here to Alabama that like some of the kids hadn't done. I've been blessed uh, to have uh, done this show originally with uh, Jennifer Holliday along with a number of other Broadway shows. And, uh, it's kind of what I've done for about 30 years. <laughs> and now I'm at a place where I'm down here in Alabama. I'm taking a look, I'm on sabbatical. So I'm taking a little break, but uh, it's good to be down here working with some young, some different folks and giving them a sense of feel. And, and, uh, I just did that misbehaving at UAH uh, a couple of months back, and right now I'm about to work on the Wiz for Lee High School. So I'm having a chance of doing three of the best black Broadway shows in the last six months here in Alabama. So to me, I think that's a great thing to be doing, and uh, I hope you folks can come out and see it and enjoy it. City Theater Company, uh, we're in residence at uh, Alabama a and University. Just got through with a very hot production of uh, a concert version of Dream Girl. Uh, started working on this uh, back in December. Got with uh, a director from Broadway, Mr. Eugene Fleming, and uh, we thought about this idea of uh, doing this concert version, something that hadn't been done here. Uh, one of our missions at our city is to do original work, is to take original work and, and basically develop it. And so this was an opportunity, of course, Dream Girls is a favorite, and it's February, Black History Month, so we decided to take uh, a favorite, a reprisal, and do something different with it. Uh, as as we, uh, we found out, it was a big hit. Uh, people really, really enjoyed it. Uh, there will be pictures out there. You can go up to our Facebook page. Uh, URL is Art City Institute. Our website is, of course, www.artcityinstitute.org. Uh, you can go out there and uh, take a look at the pictures. But we're excited. We're going to continue to do production. We're going to have other original productions coming the way very soon. And depending on everything, you might see you might see this one again. <laughs> before the year is out. It's, it's, it's turning out to be uh, a real smash. I want to uh, thank the people here at Calhoun uh, who made this happen. Uh, along with, of course, Alabama A&M where we uh, have an office and we have space there uh, where we put this, put this together. We do our work. And so our work pays off. Uh, again, I'm Darrell Wormley, Executive Director of, uh, of uh, Art City. Uh, Institute, and I was a producer of this show, a concert version of Dream Girls. 